As Floridians continue to recover from Hurricane Ian, a group here in Michigan is helping them get back on their feet. Yeah, helping them get everything they need from food, shelter, and mental health services. Our Lauren Edwards explains. Michigan 211 is known for helping people here in West Michigan get access to services like meals and clothing and housing and jobs. But lately, their focus has been helping those in Florida. Especially in, in this time of disaster, people are vulnerable um, and they, you know, are needing that empathy and compassion on the other end of the line. That's what Michigan 211 has been providing Floridians hardest hit by Hurricane Ian. The heart of Florida is um, their 211 covers those 14 counties across the Gulf and in central um, like Orlando and adjacent counties. Um, and so they, you know, their staff needed to shelter, their staff needed to stay safe. So all seven of Michigan's 211 call centers stepped in to help, says their VP, Emily Ruckel. We have, as a network, taken over 1,700 calls, and that number was um, as of October 4th, so the number is a bit higher at this point. She says 211 is a national network, but the group in Michigan has a standing mutual aid agreement with Florida's 211 network to assist one another when disaster strikes. So far, they've been connecting Floridians to a variety of resources. We've gotten lots of calls around basic needs, um, so food and shelter especially, um, but also evacuation routes and road closure information, um, connections to other disaster services such as Red Cross services. They've also gotten phone calls about sandbags, storm supplies, medical supplies, and mental health services. Ruckel says their staff is trained in basic crisis intervention skills. We are not uh, a crisis hotline. Um, and so what we would do if, if someone is was in a true mental health emergency, um, we would follow our crisis protocol and get them connected to um, uh, 988, um, which is the National Suicide um, Hotline. The Gryphon Place team of 211 located in Kalamazoo and Toledo's 211 team has put in over 325 hours assisting callers. She says their staff 24-7, 365, ready to help whomever is on the line. But to watch all seven centers in Michigan come together and, and really quickly mobilize um, to assist another community that's thousands of miles away during a time of, of such need is it's just remarkable. So again, they're able to do this because of a mutual aid agreement that they have. In the past, Florida stepped in to help during the Flint water crisis and when the floods happened in the Midland area. And also, they are taking calls locally. So she says, if you need help, do not hesitate to dial 211. Reporting here in Grand Rapids, Lauren Edwards, Fox 17 News.